Hi! You know that annoying video where someone else is about to get into an annoying confrontation, but because one party is deeply respected, the first party is dedicated to kiss that target's ass? Th that's this. Now, in my last video, I referred to Voice of Reason as the mountaintop of what's left, the Mecca, the Alpha, and the Omega. Do forgive me if I forgot the OG of Brony Analysis. It's just, every time Anthony C. puts out a video, it feels like the last one. Case in point, Voice of Reason, who was retiring, wanted to collab with Anthony C. Now, this is the last place to bring that up, but Voice is an amazing human being, a wonderful content creator, and it would be a wonderful gesture to help out a guy who takes care of his friends and the people who work with him. Speaking of people who work for people, what a wonderful segue. Anthony, darling, the only people who cared about the DHX assets were, one, some of the animators, like Maid, who, by the way, love to have a word with you, and I can make that podcast happen. And Horse News, who literally hates bronies making money off a pony unless they're clop artists. According to Chilis from Havana, Cuba, and Rendrick, unless it's clop, because clop artists won't work for free. And by the by, when you say Anon KP links, that's our good old friend Mr. Fungibility himself, Corpulent Brony, which I broke down in How Not to Brony 12. My special all about KP, which by the by, didn't address the stolen assets because I'm not some obnoxious 4 chaner. But seriously, you're telling me Corpulent Brony got a legal definition wrong. You don't say. This is the same asshole who reported on the alleged BronyCon orgy. This from the individual who hasn't seen his penis since the Reagan administration. Because I know when I want to hear news about legality or sex, I can turn to this guy over here. The whole matter you glossed over was the fact that KP treats her staff like crap. Something you've been made aware of. Here's Cake Dragon Man saying he's literally told you about KP with vigor and gusto. With the Anthony C's project, which is coming out, uh, you can cut that off if you want. But anyway, Did, does he the thing is, up or what? no, no, no. I, I just don't want Anthony C's fucking name to be like dragged down onto this because oh, no, no, I'm. No, everybody goddamn loves Anthony C. I, I yeah, exactly. Him. Yeah, no, that um, motherfucker. Here's a here's an interesting. Me. Hey, 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 oh, it's it's funny you should say that. Is he still on good terms with KP? Because they used to. Be... I don't know. They I used... literally said. I'm... I literally <laughs> told him that she's a cunt. I told him <laughs> on the end, oh she's God. a cunt, and he didn't say anything about it. Okay, that's that's confusing. I, and I said, I apologize, because I really don't like KP. And oh, he was right. like, oh, eh, no, this is fine. This is, this is fine. And I'm just like, this is the <laughs> coolest guy ever. You know what he did? You know what he did that absolutely no fucking person yeah, no, in the world? tweeting you on Twitter. I saw that. I was doing that yeah. for a while. I'm assuming he got sick of all my drama and walked away. Cool guy. I still love you up and down, Anthony, if you're watching. Cool. Yeah, Anthony, Anthony, I love you. Back to the Anthony C thing. The thing that he does that he encouraged me to make videos, tells me that I actually have talent, and I worked on a project with him, did my Spike voice for the first time in like a year or two, and you know what this motherfucker does? What? He fucking pays me with money! <laughs> and he actually gives me credit! All right! All and right. is telling me, oh, you work on this, do that, is like directing me like an actual fucking director. And I'm just sitting here like no one in the history of like ever like I've been in Bogile Bronies. I've done shit for fucking KP. No one has ever paid me to do anything. No one has ever directed me in a nice calming manner and said, work on this, do that. No one's actually treated me like a fucking human the entire time I was in the Brony community. And now I have been getting that more with him. I did my due diligence, Anthony. And speaking of 4chan, you keep your retarded ass backwards memes to yourself. And on KP leaks might be a bunch of gutless cowards, much like Corpulent here, who'd love it if I stop exposing him. But I'm not. I roasted KP and many of the other people for and against her. Shit, look at my most hated enemies on A-Chan who clearly recorded me sticking up for KP. It's kind of mind-boggling how many of your friends and mine wanted KP's head on a pike, but didn't want to get their hands dirty. And while your video was vastly entertaining, you know better. You know better from people you respect, people I can't naturally mention, who don't give a rat's ass about leaked assets and just wanted better treatment. So again, your video on drama was vastly well made. You, much like Starlight Glimmer in Season 6, completely missed the point. Also, KP falling on her sword and not dragging anyone else down with her? Anthony, this is the internet aristocrat. I was supposed to engage him with three of my peers in a debate of sorts. 
Most of those people bailed, with the exception of one proud young lady here, who showed she had more guts than any of us. The only reason I didn't cover for her is because she was already part of the drama. When the whole deal went south, I took it on the chin because it was my project. That's what you're supposed to do when things go south. And it's your rodeo, Antony. KP took this on the chin because she would have taken the bulk of the reward. You know, if my crew would have gone through with it and I'd have smacked the living fuck out of Jimbo over here, I was the one who would have looked good. Probably part of the reason why most of my crew bailed, all risk and zero reward. KP chose to take her video down. I assure you, these three videos have way, way, way more hatred and bile than anything KP ever did, and they're up because I'm not a candy ass. Now, Anthony, I'm still in touch with a fair amount of KP's former staff, and even the nicest of Rachel's former workers, who are willing to let bygones be bygones, don't believe she's gonna get better. Not for a moment. What you did is bullshit, and it's bad for you. One more thing completely unrelated to the rest of my audience, before we get going. This is my friend Vita. He's dying from something that can be treated. He finds the procedure would cheapen his life to an unacceptable amount, and he's skipping the treatment. There is no GoFundMe. If he needed money, I would have kicked it in myself. And quite frankly, I have to sit back and watch one of my friends... I have to sit back and watch one of my favorite pain in the asses slowly rot away. I don't have anything witty or amusing to add here. We've been friends for two years and I already talk about missing him. It's a shitty deal, and I would put every dirty trick I got to fix this, but nothing works, and there's nothing I can do. One of my friends, Iris John, suggested that Vita's parents would be able to make him get the surgery because Vita is bipolar and has crippling social anxiety, and legally, maybe a judge might suggest he's not willing to act in his own best interests and lacks the mental capacity to make that choice. I wouldn't even begin to know where to get that ball rolling. You know, this was going to be the whole episode for this week. Talking about having a friend die, it's like watching the Titanic heading towards an iceberg. And there's every means in the world to stop it, but the captain on the ship has zero will to do so. I'm sure this doesn't belong here or hell anywhere else. There is likely nothing that can be done. And maybe someone who's better with words than me can go talk to Vita. Um, including a link to his channel, but I kind of doubt it. I'm mostly just pissed off. Well, maybe it'll be fun next time, but I kind of fucking doubt it. Here's a video of Vita and us hanging out. It's not going to mean a lot to everyone else, but I think it might be the thing I come back to when he's gone to remember him by. What? Here's the fuck out of me. There's no reward. You go through all those fucking item descriptions trying to piece together. No, no, and then, no. Then you go through there's, the no, DLC. there's no story, or there's no, you know, yeah, th there's no, um... Oh, the fucking yeah. DLC, you live the story. You get it, into the immersion. You see, okay, who was Artorius? Why was he this this big art, big historical figure? And then you realize you are Artorius. You go back in time, and you fucking you're the person who like you know saves time from like this fucking abyssal shit. But the re but like history, the way history works, Artorius was the big you know figure who got all the credit. And so you don't get all the credit, despite being the person who killed the big bad. Instead, Artorius gets all the credit despite being corrupted by the abyss. It's like Artorius was this motherfucker who saved everything. When I mean, that's not how it happened. Like that is really interesting how you know history interprets things. It's just, Artorius was the was like you know the original gangsta, but because he fell, you know, uh, history just kind of excused him. You know, because he was you know okay. hot shit. I think that there is a very big difference between us of like. I get the sense that the idea that history is wrong is a very appealing idea to you. It's, it's not, not a very It's a folklore fucking story. History can be wrong, but I'm just saying... Well, it's no, literally... Right the no, 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 yeah. It's literally a Christmas carol, and before that, before that, the one you're referring to is a reimagining of a Christmas story, Pasta. Wait, There's no the way. Eve. Yes. Heartwarming Eve. It's a, really? it's a, it's a fucking, not a secular holiday, a religious holiday. Well, which... in My Little Pony, they don't really go into very much detail on what's religious and what's secular. Because here's well, the thing, I know, deliberately is, left I know what, what bothers well, Poss about this is he's like, oh, this is the tribes coming together. But if you listen to this episode, that's not necessarily true, and that just burns his ass. <laughs> I love Wiggly I, I don't, for history. I don't. I don't think that I, I don't interpret that at all from this but episode. You don't have I just to. thought 
No, no, no. But the the thing that I dislike about this episode because you mis misrepresented what I think of it. I think that it's just plain lazy and like, oh, you know, or a a, a Christmas Carol episode. Oh, lovely. You're being mm. a lazy jag off. Do you think it's easy you're, you're, to make? You know what, Will Possibly, You know what you are? You're a Ponyville critic. Ooh, doesn't Ooh. that hurt? You did you read you wrong? You're a Ponyville critic. You're some oh. white oh. old oh. no really Anthony, here. Anthony, have mercy. <laughs> did I really just burn your ass right there? Not at all. <laughs> and but what I'm saying right now, past is the more wriggle room you have for history, the more I, you know, like l kind of like history you can have. Because you have all what? these different interpretations. Well, so I think. Really oh, I think. What, kind of what does going? this mean? What does uh, this mean? You go through all that, like uh, see, you know. Say, what does this mean? Yeah, what does this mean? Analysis is looking Everyone into has... depth, looking into fucking past the surface, instead of review, which is basically slapping a fucking lazy ass number on it. If you, yeah. Yeah. If you wanted to goddamn goddamn get a goddamn lazy ass review, perhaps you should have clicked on a British ninja fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe this one history says what you want to believe. Maybe this one history over here says that Hitler was right. I don't fucking know. Like, how were you interpreted that? A really the good more, example of that kind of storytelling is in Warhammer 40k, where there are just so many questions on who's really the good guy, who's really the bad guy. Like, what the hell is the Omnissiah? Is that the Emperor, or is that the fucking Void Dragon, which is a Catan, which is a freaking star god that the robots worship? It's like, this, look, what is all this shit? We don't know. Read the code. All codex. that kind of shit, yeah, it's so amazing, because you, you can, like, interpret it your way you want to want it. You want it. And there's so many things you can believe. If you want to believe something, you can believe it. If you want to believe something else, go ahead. Have fun with that. Because that there's just as much evidence supporting that. Well, some evidence is better than others. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, did they, in, in the show, did they actually say that this story was supposed to be a true story? Like like it was actually part of, like, Hearts no, Warming just History? Said it was, no, no. The, from, from all that we have, this is just a tale. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's it. Just, well, just, just, like which, could, yeah. just how you could interpret the original Horsewoman yeah. story. Well, okay, the point yeah, at which it breaks down episode, in My Little it, Pony specifically is there are characters who are <clears throat> implied to be immortal that you can literally ask, hey, Princess Celeste, yeah. what happened on the first Heartswarming Eve? See, okay. But she that, wasn't there. She wasn't level, there. According to the that story. What, according, that no, no, here's the whole thing. They're not brain. married to that anymore. <laughs> they, they were never married to it to begin with. But there were a lot of things saying to follow it because everyone was saying like nothing said that this might be wrong. Okay. See, the thing is, they on a dime kind of went against the journal of the two pony sisters. That was never confirmed as canon, though, was it? Uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, always never said confirmed said as that. canon. No, no, no. No. And you let me what? finish my point. Let me no, no. no let okay, me finish no, okay, my okay, point. Okay. Let me, let, the point I'm getting at is. It doesn't fucking matter what the fans think, like or, or have a the, the, the general understanding of what is correct doesn't matter a damn. Just like for a long time, there was, I I mean I I don't know if I'd necessarily say this is true, but let's just assume for the sake of the argument that for a long point in time, the fans believed that the heartwarming Eve story absolutely one hundred percent was true, it just happened. There was never, the show was never in any obligation to go by it. Never. Oh, okay, you know, okay, no, that's where I, I'm going to have no, to no, disagree hold, with hold, 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 hold. I've been holding my tongue for this one. That basically my theory about analysis has always been true. It's a high-level bullshit to enhance the core product as it's always been. And if you can continue to bullshit and enhance that product as best as you can, you win! End story! <laughs> uh, what I love about, like, non- what? specific lore <laughs> is that all, all the different- I don't, all even, the, I don't even understand what you're trying to argue, really. Yeah, you are- What are you weak. trying to argue? I'm recording myself right now, so I make sure. I said very clearly, that the whole point of analysis is to try and bullshit in a way to enhance the core concepts. But, but and if you're skilled enough to do with that, 
you win. That's it. What does that have to do with the argument or the conversation? I don't understand what that has to you do. Don't, okay, if we're talking about the lore of My Little Pony, you don't need to win the argument. It's just the <laughs> statement of like things that make sense that you can interpret like this and this and this as this. That's so interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah, but that was always the case. And I always want it to be the case because there's so many interpretations. Well, that was always the case. Of okay, my so, so this episode doesn't troll, really don't pasta instead of being a curmudgeonly old bastard. Quit trying to be brawny. There's already one of those. <laughs> uh, all I'm saying is that this episode doesn't really do anything in this regard because it was always uh, up for debate. It was always you know up for interpretation. I don't see how. Every little bit of info. So, so you're agree, so you, that you agree that the heartwarming story originally could have been wrong. Oh yeah, I think the fans needed to be reminded of that. That's what I liked about it. This lore could be wrong. Fuck this lore could be wrong. Need. Last one could be right. This one could be wrong. Online internet idiots don't. Like, That's my little pony. Get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was always up for interpretation. Well, and that's the fun part. Yeah. That that doesn't sound like what you were saying at first. It, I thought you I were was saying that I was saying that I, you know, basically wholeheartedly still believe that Horsewarming Eve's tale is correct. And and yeah. the and, episode at and no point you have time good said evidence you were to believe wrong. that. It said yeah. that there's yeah. a potential, a fraction, a modicum, a possibility you're wrong. Possibility. Well, uh, Just a, a discussion. Yeah. It all did. Did did it also say that there wasn't anything open to the interpretation of the people telling the story anyway? No. I mean, not I originally. Mean, like yeah. originally, it didn't leave any room for that. This is something that might be wrong. For example, with the story of how Ponyville was founded versus Granny Smith's version of how Ponyville was founded. There's there's they kind of conflicted with each other. So okay. there was no way to tell which one is how it really happened. Wait, which one? Can, what can well, it wasn't do? necessarily Ponyville. Real quick, it was... real quick, Anthony, how long do we have till we take another shot? Oh, I didn't set a thing. One second, let me do that. Fifteen. Set minutes. it. What what time <laughs> do you typically do? About Twenty minutes. or? Okay, yeah. Uh, last time you did it was at like uh no, for no, my no, clock, no, 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 like three thirty ish. So no, it's two twenty six. Fifteen minutes from now. So that'll be 241. Okay, so in a way, okay. what we learned in this episode, which is really kind of the only thing that we learned, is that none of the characters on My Little Pony are omniscient. They don't know everything about their world. Everyone has right. a point of view. And that's, that's that. good. Sure. You know what? That's, that's goddamn amazing. We already because, should have assumed no, no, You know who that. learned that? Or should have learned that? Probably didn't. Twilight. What I love about that's the, the world person who that's... should have learned that lesson, but she came up to fucking goddamn Starlight Glimmer and started preaching her lesson as if she were fucking goddamn omnipresent and the only possible person who could have possibly been right. Okay, what I love about I worlds like time that's like ancient is that people don't exactly know what happened back then. You don't yeah. have nobody lived back then, or maybe if they did, they don't remember exactly. Like twa like fucking Celestia or whatever. Nor like having they. the area of like uncertainty is so cool because you can speculate. Speculation is the funniest fucking thing with with like fandoms. You and guys all. are really drunk, aren't you? Oh yeah, they <laughs> are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certain certain people. People. But it's all, we're also right. We're also right. Is that it's fucking funny? Because fun you're just meandering on the same point, and there's like no basis. It doesn't the matter. That's the, point. That's the point of being. Well, of, no, no, of, no, no. Like, we, were about we were talking about We were talking about Stardust two seconds ago. <laughs> then I saw your comment on YouTube, and then fucking Bates like Adam. I'm like, all right. <laughs> okay, pause. The point. We don't have a basis for like you know not understanding like the far past, and that's the fun point. Nobody has basis nobody, of conversation. I did basis I conversation. Well, okay, our basis conversation is the past. Yeah, that's all you need. Is in like this conversation. I, it's fun to talk about what could have been because it's so far along, so far past the land before time. Not That's really talking fun. about the episode, are we? We're just talking about the <laughs> gloriousness of. No, no, they they are definitely engaging in petty one-upmanship right now. So <laughs> I'm drunk. I don't know exactly what I'm saying, but it's fun to speculate about what could have been and what could have not have been. 
Yeah. Oh my Isn't gosh, that yeah. part of the goddamn community pasta? Is That's the these fun. Discussions? Otherwise, we're just saying, okay, this definitely happened, this definitely happened, okay, we're going about it. Would you game. prefer that instead, basically? Isn't that all the bullshit you used to whine about? Now that we're actually having legit analysis, it might not be what you're necessarily wanting, but we're goddamn trying. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun at the bare minimum. Yeah. You are really drunk. I'm really drunk, but I'm also... I would be doing still, this if I were sober, Pasta. As you still see that video story. that you looked at, I was That's sober. <laughs> Sorry, what was that donut? I, I, well, what I took out from the episode was Starlight looked cute in that outfit. Yeah, yeah. that is true. Don't get me wrong. I, I <laughs> wasn't really a fan of the hat, but yeah. Starlight looks amazing in pigtails. I was. I, I know. And, 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 and I like the fact they brought her original hair back. I was like, ha ha ha. Yeah, that was. I skipped you know the evil. episode. She has evil hair. Oh. I didn't actually watch the episode through completely. <laughs> I just skimmed it. So you didn't analyze it. You did a half-ass recap. Bravo. How is watching it doing <laughs> yeah, no, no. analysis? You, you glanced through to get a general idea. You did a half-ass recap. No, I got you. It's okay. Go, 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 go. You know what? Voice of Reason would be proud of you. Oh my <laughs> gosh. You are really drunk. <laughs> you are very drunk. I know. Being a cock now. <laughs> I can't tell if you're just salty or you're being a cock on like a little bit of both, you know. I was just I was just gonna say you I'm are, trying to you think sound a pa- little salty. I think that Pasta saying you're really drunk is code for him saying like, Wow, you're being a really huge asshole right now. No, no, I am. I'm not even gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> this is probably gonna sit in a recording and die. And never get republished, but you never know. <laughs> See I don't understand how watching the show like watching an episode in completion is the equivalent of analyzing it. How is that analyzing it? Well, it's kind of hard to analyze hold on, hold on. something you that you haven't said, watched. No, hold on, hold on. You literally said to yourself, "You're really looking for something here." That's what analysis is, pasta. Holy shit! <laughs> really, reaching is analysis. Wait, uh, it absolutely fucking is. My God. I, <laughs> what? Yeah, no fucking goddamn trying to reach down and fucking goddamn draw back instead of fucking <laughs> just reaching past the surface. That's analysis. Trying to dig beneath the surface is analysis. <laughs> Holy shit, that's fucking amazing. My god, trying to dig deeper. Oh. What was the point that I said? Like, that does, that has no relation to anything I said. Oh. It's just like a completely different no, this thing. Is, this is a past analysis. Not gonna like it. Not gonna like it. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's all I'm here right now. I, do you even remember why I said I don't like it? Yeah, you you don't like again. a Christmas don't carol? Like yeah. No. I, I don't want a pony version of a Christmas carol. I don't think that well, because when you're doing versions of Christmas carols, you tend to work with, like, very kind of... Not, it's not like in a character-based show. I mean... Oh, they, it was a lazy-ass version of a Christmas carol, no doubt. Even as parodies go, it sucked. I mean, take, like, the Muppets version of it, or the Looney, Turn, Looney Turns version of it. Those, those aren't... Looney like, Turns. Looney Tunes and the Muppets aren't like really character in depth things. It, it's so it's just a lens to view it from. But, but with Pony, it's like these hypothetically are supposed to be, you know, kind of like actual characters and not just joke things. So okay, so you're acting as if, if I'm understanding every other cartoon ever doesn't have characterization. What? Okay, so if I'm understanding you correctly, your criticism is that the characters in My Little Pony are rich, multidimensional characters that can't be fit into the characters who are also rich and multidimensional hold, from hold, a Christmas hold, character. Hold, hold, hold. I want yeah, yeah, I I to hear Leaky basically. debate Pasta so bad right now. <laughs> okay. Because he's sober. So, <laughs> I, no, I just, I just, I wanted to bring up the point of like you mentioned uh, the Muppets and the Looney Tunes. Like you're, yeah. like the characters in the Muppets aren't blank slates. They have 
characterization and they have their own yeah, but motivations. I mean, comparing it to MLP, I don't know if I would really say that they're that character rich compared to MLP. I mean, MLP Why is... Not? Like, well, because in The Muppets, it's, um, as far as I understand, it's kind of... It's silly. It's not supposed... To, like, you, in MLP, you literally have episodes that are entirely about characters learning shit. I mean, that's There was an episode character. of Sesame Street where a character died and the kids had to learn about dealing with loss. I actually Do just you... saw that today, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, I, know, I think you're being you remember, a little unfair to Jim Henson. Do, do, do you remember <laughs> the cartoon The Muppet Babies? <laughs> yes. They, they, they technically had a lot of characterization in I, it. I think what your problem is is that you spend so much time watching My Little Pony, you think that every other cartoon is just generic. It, it is no. inferior by comparison. Every You think that every oh cartoon that gosh. isn't My Little Pony, Gravity Falls, or Steven Universe is not well written and has no characterization. No, no. I'm just saying that, like, they're, they're, they're more blanket versions. I'm not criticizing the Muppets or Looney Tunes. No, no. I'm just saying that I think those things, because they are not as character-rich... He just needed them to be straw men, is what he was saying. So, so you're saying that you think that My Little Pony is above parody? Ah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, that's actually. Oh my what I'm god, saying. that is so <laughs> asinine. That is the most <laughs> asinine okay. thing I've ever heard. I would love to. I would it's, pay it's money, like... Leaky. I would pay money, legit good money, for a video from Leaky explaining why that is asinine. How much? <laughs> well, Slate. it is ass. I mean, <laughs> it, it, essentially, he's saying that my opponent is like I, the. I will one... go 50 50 dollar for dollar with Okizama while you explain why well, Pass Analysis one, is a giant one, room. nothing. <laughs> One, nothing is above parody. Nothing on Earth is above parody. You agreed a second ago. Well, certain things can't be parodied, though, like Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pass, pass. See, Rem remember the Sharknado pinky Sharknado is a parody. We're talking exactly, that's about why you can't parody. Ooh, joke. <laughs> that, that, oh, that's, that's the joke. I realize I'm talking about my opinion here. I'm talking about, yeah, my opinion is that MLP isn't really so your defense, good for that. So your defense is, is a British... Brony response. It's just my opinion, guys. It, it's another. What? It's just my opinion. <laughs> you don't are have really to drunk. It's my opinion. <laughs> you are really drunk. I am. Yes, I he really is. fucking am. Are you kidding me? Where the fuck is Vita gone? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, where the fuck oh, shit. is Vita? Vita's gone. Our Lord and Savior. He probably fell asleep. No, he left. I saw him leave. Call. No, I mean, like, he probably fell asleep, left, left call and fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Well, his liver probably oh, needed okay. a break. I, I joked about it being the best episode ever. But I was like, there's, 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 there's room to wiggle and argue about the death of the episode. And I was like, that's pretty good. There's, there's a lot of fucking, you know, iffy, maybe episodes, and I'm choosing to feel on the fucking side of, yeah, pretty good. You're just... You're you're pretty pretty much you're, you're happy that now there is cause to to doubt the heartwarming story and that people can interpret the story well, different ways and that it uh, may tr and it may be true and it may not be true. Well, it's not just that, but it does kind of open just about all the lore to some interpretation because like the the fact that there there are fables mm -hmm. and potentially not true stories that relate to the founding of of a fictional world it makes it more like our world because that, that kind of fixes a lot of like continuity errors that they tend to have like when yeah. we hear stories from one place and then it's a little bit different at another well, place only like this cuz different I. stories e. are interpreted different well, ways I. E. Oh, wait, bucking too. the trend i.e. fucking goddamn just accepting this long forgotten story as canon that's the heart the 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 fucking feeling of mlp isn't it wait what well i would the say it's definitely everyone everyone has always beat off that mlp is so good because it fucking goddamn calls into question all these usual fucking sacred cows of you know this that and the other and basically mlp here sat there and said these aren't necessarily true 
And they did it again in this week's episode. Status quo. This episode, would I'd say, is about as good as freaking... Um, what's the season final for season one? You guys really did interpret a very strict interpretation from everything else. I mean, it sounds like... <sighs> It, from everything that you're saying, it sounds like the way you interpreted MOP before, you found it so shallow or unwelcoming of different interpretations that you are like completely well, entranced pasta. Pasta. by this one episode kind of doing that. <laughs> that's, 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 no, 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 no. How can it be a strict interpretation if the entire basis of the interpretation is that there are multiple interpretations? Yeah, I, 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 I want to stop you. I want to stop you right there on that pasta. Your response here is implying that everyone here agrees with me. No, no, no. <laughs> which well, which my Leaky point, sure my as point. shit does not. Leaky has never been my complete a one hundred percent, maybe ten percent, maybe on an excellent, amazing day. Does Leaky one hundred percent agree with me? We're fucking the stars are aligned. <laughs> Kichi does not a 100% agree with me stupid private donut trouble notes none of these assholes agree with me a 100% of the way <laughs> now what was what was kind of cool about this episode is they touched on because you know hearts warming is a pair of little Christmas they mm -hmm. touched on the fact that not everyone totally buys into this holiday of Christmas and and even though that's okay, you're gonna you're probably gonna be treated like an asshole uh, when you're around people who love Christmas. <laughs> well, I, I kind of appreciated the fact that they acknowledged the commercialization and the cheapness of Christmas. Yeah, because yeah. That, that is a factor of the holiday. Right. Yeah, yeah that's why the opening of Krampus is freaking amazing. Did you? And you know the funny that in your video there, stupid private. Huh. That would have been derp. amazing if you did. <laughs> hold on, hold on. It derp the call derp. What'd you say? Yeah. I was like, if Stupid Private literally included that in his video about the the commercialization of Christmas, I would have fucking gone back and watched that. <laughs> I didn't, but I was oh, thinking it. No. You you haven't even been drinking. <laughs> What's your excuse? <laughs> that would have been amazing. My God. Yeah. Oh. It, and it and it the funny thing is it's kind of true if you're around a bunch of people who love Christmas and you're the one person who doesn't they're gonna try to make you love Christmas. Mm -hmm. oh, put a light in there, so they to and most likely she just kind of bought into it so she wouldn't have to sit and listen to more stories. Yeah, <laughs> it'd have been like if Kichi had to deal with like ten brawnies. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. 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 You're right. You're right. And the minute she gets back to limbo, you guys are all faggots. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would be something yeah, I would do. I'd be like, "Yeah, you're, 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 you're like, you're completely hey. right, Bronny. I was wrong. I'm, I'm gonna go <laughs> on the moral high ground now. See you later, Bronny." <laughs> she get yeah, back to me. No, assholes me. picked up. Anthony, me. you really interpreted. I'm just, I'm just gonna say this again because you didn't really seem to take what I said earlier. You really interpret like a very strict interpretation of the previous episode like it has to, you have to take this as the well the thing is when the we already, when the we already when debunked, the, we already debunked hold on, hold on, this point, on, try on. another one yeah. hold on. when when the cartoon itself presents something as fact you you kind of accept it as fact most of the time well, you don't have to i mean most people do if the cartoon says celestia is the ruler of equestria and you're just like, oh, she might not necessarily so be what? the ruler. You... That kind of goes against common sense. Would well, you... it goes against what we've seen so far. Yeah. So wait, wait. Would you rather them just not have any facts then? Because it seems like you... <laughs> like just have nothing. No, no. It okay, sounds okay. like so you... That's... Hold on. It that's sounds a... like you're saying that the cartoon does not have any facts. When you have episodes that, that present something as fact, you kind of accept it unless there's something like this episode that, which presents otherwise. Okay, so that there's the viewer like... is always the viewer is always capable of saying, Fuck that episode, I don't believe that. Well then okay, so just, then, I mean if you want to deny reality, then that's fine. <laughs> 
Well, there are different approaches to storytelling. Like uh, the approach that My Little Pony is kind of going with is, okay, none of our characters are omniscient. No one really knows what happens specifically with some of these events. And that's one way to tell a story. Now, another way to tell a story is we absolutely know factually what happened with all of these events. Lord of the Rings is a great example with that. Like if you read the Silmarillion, they go through in detail what happened each step along the way. And that's another valid way to tell a story. But My Little Pony is doing in. it differently. Welcome back. Hey. Hello up? again. God, that took way too much effort to get this fucking internet working. Mm-hmm. And I just realized the time, and I have finals tomorrow, so I probably should get to bed. So. All right, good night. Fun Trouble. Yeah, Take see ya. Right, later, Trouble. Jesus Christ, Trouble, you sound different. Trouble's in. Yeah. Hmm? Maybe uh, you uh, should you know, lower the, the Trouble. I only know Trouble. <laughs> I literally only know Treble through the Vita Army. That's it. Treble is the most straight-laced motherfucker you'll ever meet. That's scary that you have had him forever. You had. Him I know. Forever. I know straight-laced motherfuckers who chill with me because I understand that they're straight-laced and I kind of, you know, work them in as straight-laced. You know, I I can, you know, communicate with them without being. Vita, you know, have mother- I ever tried to really reform you with any significance? No. I'm scared yeah. by that. How do you, you reform someone? Your heart is black. How do you reform someone? I reform you can't Matt. reform me. I reformed I... Misanthropony, madam. I what can... was he like before? Uh, Kinda? Is is reform the proper wor- uh, word when you beat someone into their to submission? Yeah, that's the Soviet Catholic Russia? That's what, yes. yeah. that's what Catholics that's what Catholics call reform. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay. As a Catholic, I will agree you know, with the that. The funny thing is Leaky thinks he's insulting me. <laughs> he's <laughs> Leaky, you're just being honest. No, no, no. That was day one plan one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we lost Vita again. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, poor Vita. Oh. No, I knew um, what I was doing with that. I know it ruined him, sadly. When when Vita comes back, you're past your, your shot time. Alright, let me put it to you this way. If if I didn't sit Matt down, someone else would have done it. And then someone... You know what? What would have happened if fucking goddamn some monster, some ghoul would have fucking goddamn took Miss Anthropony into his fucking arm? What a goddamn fucking mongrel he would have become then. God for God forbid someone with ambiguous morals give him advice. <laughs> you, you mean like me? I don't have ambiguous. I'm offended. You don't think I have ambiguous morals? That well, was, it's better that he hear it from the joke. Hey it's Vita, that he not yeah. find his way into some hug box. I Shot have time. Vita as a friend. I have fought to keep Vita as a friend. That's the ambiguous morals if I've ever heard them. Can we even call each other friends, Anthony? Because we've reached a point where do we call that friendship or do we call that? Your mates, bros, compadres. It's, it's at a weird point where I'm not. Thank you for sure. clarifying, Kichi. I just, just had the horrible there's image this, of them mating. This, this <laughs> fucking poem from King Arthur the Third. Recent, they're talking. Oh, what, what's his um? Richard the Lionheart. He who sheds blood with me today will be my brother now and forever, and that's what I consider Vita. I mean, I, despite like all the shit that's happening, we're still. Close, I guess, is a word I can use to describe us. I I adore Vita, because people tell me not to. <laughs> we we shouldn't be, but as long as you've got my back, I've got yours. Yeah, I do. It's fucked up. Until, you, until you're mad at each other. Yeah. Until we're mad at each other, and eventually you really you are like and Romeo. And it literally yeah, takes me a week to mi- week to miss Vita. Literally. <laughs> like, uh-huh. The thing is, at this point, like the average is, I'll be away from Anthony for two weeks. You you last a month longer on your side than mine. <laughs> yeah, so like I, I'm trying to last as long as I can because I'm like I want to hang out with Anthony. Wait, no, I'm trying to make a statement. I've got to stop that. <laughs> He's just gonna keep pulling me back. Yeah. So yeah, I've got to you know kind of extend this time. Like I want to hang out with Anthony. Wait, no, secret. I'm pissed at secret, and I don't want Anthony hanging out with secret. Therefore, I cannot hang out with Anthony. Chill now. There's no way I could possibly conceivably... I would lose Kichi, I would lose Spirit of Rainbow, I would lose so many friends if I turned it you on. You would secret. lose almost literally everyone. I am not that slick, nor do I need to be! There's there's no fucking god... I can't even bullshit in a world where I could fucking goddamn usurp secrets. I don't even want to. 
It's so easier not to. Anthony fucking, like, um, he's at that point where, like, he's, uh, he's got enough influence that I could, I don't understand it. Like, I, he should have, like, everything he wants, and even if, like, he didn't. He, he does, the that's the thing. And he shouldn't want me, but he does. And Vita, like, Vita, fuck? you, I'm you like, okay. I'm like, Vita. You, the Rift is having my cake. You are eating it, too. <laughs> I know, but I'm not that important. Like, what the fuck? You're fun. Like, I there are a lot tell, of people. I used to tell Fallen that yeah, constantly, like, she didn't understand it. The fun part is the important part. <laughs> like, there are so many people you could hang out with, ex- like, in, in, in like, my place. None of them are Vita. Yeah, no. <laughs> and Vita isn't even that important. Can she but even you understands it for crying Like, I, I should be upset with you, Vita, but I'm not. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't get that. Like, why? The, the I don't li- know. Most members oh. of the Limbo miss you, for fucking Christ's sake. I remember yeah. fucking British, and he's like, oh, I kind of miss Vita. <laughs> Vita, <laughs> cer- Vita, Vita, certain people have a personality that just makes people want to be around them. You are one of those people. You have well, got a critic to put up with a clump of bullshit that I cannot explain. He should like, despise like- you by now. I should well, not it's not be only that, but, like, a lot of stuff that Vita's done for the sake of pissing us off has actually benefited in a lot of ways, so it's like... That's strange. Eh? That's another thing, Jump. yeah. <laughs> like, the thing with the Rift, that kind of... Wor- that that worked out exponentially. Yeah. So I, it's I, like, there's nothing to be mad about. It, there should be, it should be obvious why mad. you want to hang out with me, but it's not. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Like secrets anger because with you because like she you. secrets anger with you because she holds grudges. She's held grudges for years for less. Yeah, no, she's never turned to any of us and said, "Fucking stop talking to Vita." I mean, if no. she did, I would just find a workaround. <laughs> like the only reason I hold a grudge against you, like saying "top talk to secret," is because I feel like she's you know dangerous, like yada yada, yada overreacting, yada yada yada. You, you again, you said that about fucking goddamn what's his name, ages of Discord, and he was. <laughs> And you know Crazy, there was something not up. dangerous. Okay, when I said that, you know there was something up with the agents of Discord. Before, like, when I was saying you should be aware of the agents of Discord, I said I that before any Peter of you had a problem with him. I insane. I truly think that... Passive, but you know, okay. you know I fucking started... There. I don't know what happened. He was okay until I stuck him with Peter and he came back and he was nuts. You know I started sensing something was up with Agents of Discord before anyone else did. True enough, because he was a big deal. You usually get paranoid about big deal people. Huh. Like something, eventually, like, eventually, like, I'll, I'll start picking up on something like, I should be careful about this, fuck, this fucker. Something's up with this motherfucker. That's what I'm getting with Secret, basically. That's why I'm not touching her with she's a tin for pole. She's She'll not be over trying there. to build an empire, though. She's not telling us how to grow our fucking... Me and Kichi are the ones that are trying to grow an empire. Mm-hmm. I'm not Just risking Just barely. <laughs> I'm not risking it. She can stay over there and I'll be over here. She can date fucking Rocky, who have already basically like being like, no, I don't want to fucking I'll touch be you. Completely if you're that you, desperate, if, have if, fun If Secret Jimmer were half the mastermind you think she was, mm-hmm. she wouldn't be dating Rocky. Boy, Derek. Oh boy. Yeah. You know, I don't even think she understands who she's dating. She just dates whoever she feels like. Yeah. No, yeah. she's not yeah, the master. Right I think you figured that. it out. You don't know. She's not the mastermind you think she is. I'm not risking it still. I'm going to keep, keep like a large barrier until she, she she does whatever the fuck she's what planning. You, what are you expecting her to whip Rocky into shape? Even I can't do that. I don't even, I don't even think she's like planning anything. I think she's just going to end up doing something. Like, I'm just going to keep my distance until then. Like, and you I'll know, know what, if that ever happens? We got three or four people yeah, right around the corner. Happens, my game plan is to put Spirited Rainbow in charge of the Rift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, don't worry. I'm, keep my, not, I, I, I have, I'm going to get the thumbnail done be immediately the next day. I don't, ki- I don't feel comfortable hanging out with her, so I'm just going to keep my distance yeah. with her. I just you know, imagine... she's, she's no, it's like the Lion King, and, and she and Spirited Rainbow is being uh, lifted up uh, like I Simba. Just, uh, I literally uh, picture Spirited uh, Rainbow uh, sitting on the throne, mortified <laughs> out of her fucking mind. Like, why am I here? <laughs> no, and, and she's wearing a crown that's too big for her head, so it's, like, slightly off. Yeah. We'll see. If, like, Brony Khan comes, and, like, nothing changed with Secret, 
then yeah, I'll fucking say fuck it. I probably overreacted. No, but I'm still not gonna be near her. No, she's not at BronyCon, dude. She's not gonna have. I know. Any... I, I know. I'm just gonna give it that like like a time limit. Like Ryan my... has called out fucking secret Jim Ray's like you know her ass isn't as bad as they think it is. You know what she said? No, it's not. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying she, anything's gonna happen at BronyCon. I'm just saying that's gonna be my time limit for. Has anything happened yet? No. Okay, then I probably overreacted. Yeah. No. No. She she is not a a crafty skilled Machiavellian be, monster that you she's around. she's not a chess player. It might be subconscious. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep my distance. Till I was when, terrified till... of Secret Jim at first when I was fucking goddamn trying to get my way back in the rift, and even when I was trying to pull bullshit, she'd sit in and listen to my bullshit that I was doing. I'm like, what what, what are you doing here? Get out of here! And she would just <laughs> listen. She she wouldn't out me to Fallen. I don't know why. I don't know, maybe she deep down on her side understood that Fallen was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm just giving her distance until after Burning okay, Con, and I'll okay, see if like she's on. still up with it. Because I'm expecting her to break up with Rocky. Like That's just like her thing. She breaks up with people. Well, I, or she I, people, to, more, like people, more like people break up with her. No, yeah. don't give me that. With her, with her last out. boyfriend, like with, what's it called? He, he, he broke up with her. Yeah, he broke you know up why? with her and ran she... over to Fallen Wish, for fuck's sake. Come on. Yeah, he Reed, broke, he broke Reed, up with her. He broke up with her. Was because he saw that like Seeker was like using her. She like she only caught up with her with him when he she needed something. Otherwise, she didn't talk to him. Okay, according well, she to was, him, she was yeah. You know, no, according to him, I was screwed and I was Seeker Dreamer. That's what he thought. Yeah, like from what I've experienced with Seeker Dreamer, I believe him. Do you? Be okay, no. From what you know of me, do you believe him? Yeah. Why? Even with fucking. What's his name? No, What's that faggot what who's like me. overreacting? Why the fuck would you think that I'm going out with Secret Jimmer? Come on, I don't man. believe you're. I don't believe you're going out with Secret Jimmer. I have friend zoned the fuck out of what's Secret Jimmer. What's that one motherfucker who hates me? Uh, he's the guy who makes a big deal and is in um Sweet Bloom's group. Who? Mm -hmm. We used to be with Secret Jimmer. Astro. Keyblade. Keyblade. Oh, Keyblade. We have no like after I after he's like Keyblade. In limbo. I've heard it. What he's saying. I used to make fun of him. And then after my experience with Secret Dreamer, I believe I believe fucking uh, Keyblade. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna believe you. I don't like you, but I believe you. Dude, we like, had play your black. What? We had your back when that shit went down. When he was bothering the shit out of you, we told you go talk to a mod. I don't even feel. I feel like kind of bad because I, I feel like I shouldn't have been as like like to Keyblade as I should have been. Like I feel like Keyblade. You were a bro in Keyblade. That. You were way more cool than you ever. I been. know, but like when Keyblade was complaining about Secret, I kind of relate to him. I see why he was complaining. Like what was he even do saying? You understand? No, no, Vita. Do you know what Keyblade was bitching about that got him in trouble in the first place? Tommy Oliver is a faggot. I'm like, you motherfucker. You know what's funny? That's not my territory. That's what I... happened. No, no. What happened is it fucking I started screaming at him and I had enough of my people in the call and the rift once, once in a fucking millennia where everybody snapped on his ass instead of fucking joining on uh, fuck Tom like Oliver. That's... that's what happened. And they sat that's the your fuck territory. down. That's what happened. That's hey, your territory. Vita, Vita, oh, Vita. yeah, I was actually thinking oh, no, no. about that. I was Vita, look, fucking furious with that motherfucker at that time. I'm like, you are not screaming at fucking Tommy Oliver. Well, I'm in the call, you... motherfucker. Eat a dick. <clears throat> Vita, let me ask, what exactly were his complaints? He was just really depressed about Secret Dreamer dumping him. And he seemed really, like, depressed, like, oh, Secret Dreamer jumped me. She shouldn't have. And I was just like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Well, no, no, no. Like, like, uh, like yeah, he got dumped, but... That's not really something you hold against Secret Dreamer. It's not. It, they didn't work out. Big she, deal. He bitched and bitched and bitched, and I was just like, "Yeah, you're just upset about being dunked." And then I actually get into a relationship. Well, I wanted to call. I don't want to call it a relationship with Secret Dreamer, but it was very close to a relationship, even if it wasn't public. Uh, we were very close with each other, and like the moment that one little thing happened, despite me staying up with her night after night, just like telling but her, "Vita, no, Vita, you're, you're fine, the you're, you're the king of cutting people off when you get pissed off." Yeah. But no, no, after this length of time, no, no, no. She's fucking overreacted. I understand why he plays bits. And I, I am, I'm upset that I made fun of Do you fun understand some of the shit that's happened to goddamn Secret Jammer? Let me, let me tell you about the brushstroke thing.
Please tell me. Oh, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> god damn. I was so oh, wow. fucking angry and wanted to goddamn Please. break my fist against the goddamn wall. I'm Please there, tell me about it. Minding my own fucking business. We're talking and listening to Brushstroke, and she's like, you know who is a complete whore? Fuck Brushstroke, okay? Fuck she's fuck like, brush cigarette stroke. dreamer. Out of the blue. I literally fucking looked up from my video game. I'm like, I'm clearly misheard that. I think Kishi thought the same damn thing. I'm yeah. like, come again? She's like, no, Secret Dreamer. And then I threw her the fuck out of the room. Secret Dreamer rushes in. Why'd you throw a brush truck? She thinks you're a whore. She wouldn't believe me at first. Uh, okay, brush She didn't believe that shit at all. Faggot. She's like, no. And I'm like, Kishi, back me up here. <laughs> Secret Dreamer? I have fucking, like, she does, She probably doesn't make it public or make it, like, known. But I fucking stayed up with her so long. Like, she complains, like, everyone thinks okay. I'm fat. I'm not as attractive as fucking Fallen Wish. This and that. And I stayed up, like, telling her, you know, you know, you're fine. And we got really connected. Strong connection. One uh, thing happens. Oh, we're done. You do the same thing. Vito, I don't excuse Vito, me. Vito, you don't, I don't, you excuse don't me. understand what that one thing was. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. No, 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 no. Everyone had already told me. It, 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 it was so a pretty big. Thing. That was not so many people. So many people. No, told no, 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 no. You, 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 pro you provided the, you provided no the proof, Vita. <laughs> Fallen wish had already made it. I've already been told by so many people. No, even but even if she had it. already been told, you provided the solid proof. You Some people had gone on fucking. fucking room, no, man. no, 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 no. Some people had gone on fucking like screen share showing them this. I just provided screenshot. That's so much smaller. Yeah, w you against the person you spit hold, 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 against. Vita, Vita, Vita. Who, who were those people out of pure curiosity? I don't know. Fallen Bush told me. Huh? I don't care. Fallen Bush wouldn't lie about that. No, She'd no, lie about I, a lot of other things. There were but... other people, but here's the thing: she didn't act until you did it, which is yeah. weird. Which Even then, like you'd be like, I'm disappointed with you. I don't want to talk. It, it, it is like, true. Okay. She did not act until you gave her what you gave her. Yeah, no, no, no. That's the fun. I gave a like, very fucking... small part, and I actually avoided giving them phone which information about Secret Dreamer. I sold out Anthony. I sold out Kishi. I sold out everyone in fucking well, Limbo. Well, th think, think of it. For first think of, no, think of it this way: she was basically in our camp. So this person that you spent all these nights with, she felt like you betrayed her personally. And I fucking made it very clear to her, yo, I didn't sell out you. I sold out everyone but you. I made that in, very in, clear. In the, in the real world, that doesn't work, Vita. No, it doesn't. No, 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 no. It works. If you no, want. it doesn't. It, it if you want to it doesn't work. <laughs> No, no, that's, that's just no, no, no. That, that's like okay. saying if if you have a a gang of people selling drugs and you have this one person in there and you're just like, no, I sold everyone around you. I don't know why I, you got I, arrested. I, I, oh, all right, Vita, Vita. Let me, I, no, let me no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Vita, I no, no, to, no, let me let me explain this. To no, you. I want to address what. Do you secret, understand? What, okay, do you right. understand why Tune doesn't like fucking Fallen Wish right now? Sure, go ahead. Tune is gonna lose his ass with Josh Scorcher. If Fallen Wish plays your cards by calling my name out. Mm -hmm. And that's it. There's nothing he can do to defend that. Period. He loses all he, credibility. He loses you, his no. ass and that's playing the game. And if Fallen is smart, maybe just smart enough. Just smarter than Toon. Doesn't even have to be smart. Just smarter than Toon. Which is why I'm a little parent. And I guarantee Kichi's a little parent because she's fucking tiled in on this bullshit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we lose. <laughs> Cut you off right there. Kichi, now you say, oh, well, I sold everyone else. I don't know why they arrested you. I took a screenshot of all the people who were, who were admins, you know. I took a screenshot, and, you know, um, I was, like, showing, you know, following which all those people. Secret Dreamer was on the list. I brought it up slightly. Cut so, Secret Dreamer out of that. So, so basically, everyone so, but Secret Dreamer. So, basically, yeah. you you underestimated Fallen's intelligence. Yeah. Basically, yeah, Fallen's a fuck. I, I, I expected Fallen to be a fucking idiot. She re admin, she re admin British Ninja War for a fucking goddamn secret dreamer. I've got to be quiet because I'm yelling right now and I'm sure people are going to give me no, shit. No, yeah. I'm pretty sure people like, are yelling. Like, me. okay, oh. Vita, we understand your intentions, but you got to understand you did something stupid and she's she's valid oh. for being a pissed about okay, it. I've done okay, a lot like, of people. Like, like, Vita, but then you I don't understand. We're crafty. Oh. We get it. We understand. Yeah. We're 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 clever enough. Me, Kichi, Leaky, even Pascal, stupid, private, ironically enough with a name like stupid, are all crafty individuals. Secret Jimmer is like fucking King John from Robin Hood, the furry version. Yes, yeah, she is. She is. Shit. She is A B C D. Yes, sir. No, don't give me that shit. Secret's a fucking so, idiot. That's exactly what so, we just said. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> We're not arguing. <laughs> but Shane Churcher's like, even though all those nights have been away with okay. her, all this, okay. this, okay. that, no, no, this, tune. that, think that, of, I mean, Vita, think of it. Just call me Tune. Just call me Tune. That's because I'm about to say something about Tune. She about held, something. hold okay. on, hold on. She held a grudge against Tune for breaking up with her over MySpace for years. Well, Tune wasn't even aware of that. After they dated for a week. Tune didn't bring up about that to her. She, she didn't, wasn't aware that he was supposed to that. Tune didn't have a chance to say, no, that's stupid because X, Y, and Z. He didn't well, care. We, we, he we didn't care, to be honest with yeah, you. Be honest. Yeah, he didn't care. But And we eventually got it ironed out. I'm just telling you the scope of her levels of anger and grudge holding. Do you know how we got her to forgive like that? Tune? Do you? You. Oh. You're how. We fucking went up to her and said, look, things are changing. We need Tune's influence. We sink without tune. Do you understand that? Please, for the love of Christ. I don't understand how I come into this. Continue. When, 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 when fucking, when, when, when fucking, when, when tune decided to fucking jump away and decide to go with the new rift, we had the fucking influence of having tune critics name, which is a mid Carter, which brought Golden Fox, which brought a lot of other people, which brought Keyframe, which you know brought. That middle tier, which brought fucking integrity, which the old shitty Rift didn't have. Well, <laughs> it technically did. They just weren't active, but they if still Secret had Jimmer, the names on their roster. Bitty, if, she, if Secret Jimmer was a bitter, shitty little tyrant, would have said, fuck that shit. And you know what? We would have probably done okay with mid to fucking like... Mm, low tier. Low tier people. But we started to pick up those people we shouldn't have got. And then the old rift died. It died a miserable, shitty death. Because Didn't you sw- help convince her to, to work with Toon? No, not even slightly. It felt like it. <laughs> okay. I said so, nothing ever about Toon. What okay, is the whole in. drama currently with Toon? And what? Oh, he I forgot you were here, Paz. Fa- yeah, no, he despises Fallen Wish right now with a fucking fervent pie. Fallen Wish just made community guess that, uh, what is it, um, Ponyville Ciderfest? Is that it? No, 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 it's not that. Pony Con, something like that. No, it's not po- Ciderfest, it's something else. Hold on, let me see. Ponyville Mountain Con or something like that. It's really uh. bad. So anyways, fucking goddamn, um, Fallen Wish is getting another butt at the apple. Toon's not gonna be there. And, and Fallen to, Wish To gonna... run damage control, basically. No, no, and here's the thing. She's going to be within fucking... Crystal arms... Pony Con. Crystal Pony Con, she's going to be within arm's length of fucking goddamn Dr. Wolf and Josh Scorcher, which means if she's clever, if she's smart, if she's just good enough, just a She little... will run her sob story. And she'll get in there, and she'll fucking blacklist fucking goddamn Toon Critics. She'll get in good with Josh Scorcher and Dr. Wolf. And Dr. Wolf, whether you like him or not, which I absolutely hate and despise him, fucking hate him with every fucking fiber of my being and you know this will fucking get her back in good with the community you know wait wait, mm-hmm. wait a minute wait a minute i like this wait a minute if that mm-hmm. happens and she fucks it up again ooh, ooh. ooh. you know what and it. she will fuck it up again and she will <laughs> Thank you, Pasta. I think I might just sit here on the outside. <laughs> I love Fallen oh, Wish. Baby. Whether you like I her or like not, she's an excellent little piece. <laughs> I need another shot. Mm. My alcohol is my my is about to different. Careful, oh, those. They you, will bother you in the morning. Well, you guys are like 20 minutes over. Yeah, no, we are. I'm feeling like nobody's business. But yeah, you feel why I don't want to fuck with Secret, right? I, we understand. Vita, I don't have leave, to say Vita, you. We're you not say gonna I leave you what? out there to die. I swear I will, to you, there's no. Way. It's not going to be hard to get her back on your side. No, no, I don't want her you, back. She on my has our ear. She, we've got her. We're, we're in good terms with Secret Dreamer. We're on excellent terms. There's. Well, no why way. does Tune dislike Fallen Wish? You haven't heard. Uh, I've I thought this based... was an old story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where, do you okay. want, where should I begin? Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Be- begin with the uh, the, money. The, the the money scandal. Okay. That's where it all started. I, I have my shot port. We'll get to that in a minute. This is what happened. Toon, for whatever reason, was holding Fallen Wishes money. How much money was that? Did you want me to get it was like seven hundred ish money for the what was it? Ciderfest. Seven ten. Let's say seven ten. Seven hundred ten dollars. 
for whatever reason, uh, Toon had spent some of it. He was going to get her the rest of the money back. Whatever goddamn reason. Uh, I, I, friends... know, I, know, I, know, I know the reason. Let no, me no. Take One of my friends quick. had just died, IRL. My friend Frank Flingy, who I knew since I was 14. 14, and I said, I don't care. I don't give a shit. I don't give a rat's fuck about your fucking problems right now. That's your problem. You uh, you broke up with me. That's all you. So she confiscated my people to go strong arm Toon Critic to get $700 back. And she got it. And on top of getting that money, after sitting down with Eliora and all them and fucking shaking down Toon against my wishes, which I wanted nothing to do with, you can hear me at the very beginning of Cat Avengers Podcast. I don't care about any of that bullshit. I even said at the very beginning, I, don't, I got nothing to do with that horse crap. She fucking went ahead and said, I wrote up this script where I'm going to lambast Toon even after he paid me back. And it was the scummiest fucking move. Me, Kichi, Secret Dreamer, a bunch of motherfuckers had to sit there and beg her for, what was it, one to two hours? Am I, am I exaggerating? Yeah, roughly. No, no, roughly. it's about an no, hour. By all hour means, fucking tell me I'm being a jag off that fucking, hey, you're being a douche. You need to fucking chill out and fucking... Uh, it, she listened to us after fucking arguing with her, begging with her, pleading with her, and then a week later, she fucking took the riff back through me, Ryan, Dark Edge, Donut, out of the room for daring to question her. <laughs> no, 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 that was in the second round. The first time she threw out people... Uh, the room jumped on her because she threw no, out no, no, her no, mind. No, 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 that that happened. That did happen too. Oh, but really? What, what happened was is it when I was describing what I just did, <sighs> when we jumped on her and we sat there and gave her counsel about Toon Critic, I said, he gave you the money. Now, here's the whole damn thing. Whether you agree with what I do or not, from my perspective, as a scummy asshole, he paid you off. To make that go away. Make that go away. And you know what? In my world, that means it goes away. That's how you get repeat customers. Anthony. And she didn't understand that at all. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Anthony, what? do me a favor. Shut the fuck up. Take a shot. All right. I got it. Cheers. You ready? Yeah, Three, two, fine. one, go. A hint of this. And, and that's where that article in Horse News came from. Yeah, I had nothing to do with, believe it or not, Pasta, I had nothing to do with that shit. I was pissed. Wow. Do you even feel that even a little bit? A little bit. Just a skosh. And I yeah, fucking I sat down I'm... and I fucking said, you took my people against my uh, wishes, confiscated Limbo affiliates to go shake down Toon Credit without my blessing. Fuck yourself. She took Solar Flare, Kichi, and who the fuck else? Um, uh, pastel. Pastel pros. None of these people I signed off on. I said I didn't give a shit. I was just basically trying to do my own goddamn thing, run, stay on my nose clean because I didn't give a fuck about it. Didn't care. She had dumped me and she wanted to keep shaking down. I did sit there and console her after she's like, I'm going to go hit tune again. I'm like, no. You don't deal with horse news. These aren't my people. I know Leaky will fucking argue. These are our friends. No, they ain't my fucking friends. I think a word you're looking for here is friends. No. <laughs> no, you gotta, you gotta make it sound cutesy wootsy. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be cool. Like, if, if Leaky looked at me and said, Moray J is our friend, I was like, yes, Moray J is our friend. Rockamoo is our friend. Okay, Schizo is our friend. Okay, Horse News is our friend. Eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I have defended Fallen so much. We came back that Horse News fucking... thing. I remember that fucking discussion left and fucking right where he tried correcting me on that. I will stand to that. Absolutely fucking not. You have to give me credit here. I've defended Fallen so much you against did. Fallen. You oh. stayed up for hours. You were exhausted out of your fucking mind. Didn't want to deal with horse news at all. And you're like, I'm going to get that video, that, that, that fucking article taken down. You got taken down. You're like, okay, and now I'm done. I'm going to go to bed. It was temporarily. They took it down temporarily. I was like, what the fuck? Are I, got, what I told said? you I'd get taken Cor down. Corpulent's like, I oh, well, down. Capra General's just bouncing off of fucking Vita's knee. They're all butt buddies. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe fucking Capra didn't want to get sued. My yeah, God. It's, the whole well, thing what is an asshole. not accusing oh. people of something illegal when they didn't do it illegal. Hmm. 
<sighs> no, no, I understand why Caprica had to cover his ass. That's why I fucking mentioned it, how not to burn it. And it's on. fine. They took it down. They removed the, the part where they accused her of doing something illegal. That's all I wanted. I gotta take it down. Whatever. I'm moving on with my life. Almost lickety split like a day later. And, then and I was like, like, I don't care. I don't yeah, care. No, I don't after care. that, Vita was done. I, I didn't care about it all that much to begin with. We'd moved on. That's that's more or less. And just... it keeps rearing its ugly head. Yeah, no. And, and the reason why Hor uh, uh, Fallen Wish keeps getting herself in trouble and part of it is, is slightly tuned, okay, to a degree, is that both of them want to keep getting even. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what that is, Pasta? Where me, Anthony Aguilar, the king of drama, is literally like, I'm done. Wow. <laughs> I'm, done I'm done with this. I've moved on. I when I make fun of I, I made fun of fucking Fallen. If you look at any of my videos, you know what I say her singing sucks. <laughs> None of those fucking videos on fucking How to Brody does not talk about her financial negligence, any of her misrepresentation of fucking funds at all. Those don't exist in any of those videos. Oh, but I'm yet out to get her. Horse there, shit. I've always there's... said it, since I went out with her. I said her singing has always sucked. And I fucking stood by that. And I got in trouble for that. There's drama and there's tasteful drama. <laughs> Motherfucker, stop hiccuping. And, and if, you <gasps> know Holy what, shit. if she gets in good with Josh Scorcher and Dr. Wolf... It's over. Not only do I not care, goody, goody gumdrops. Because she's going to take down Dr. Wolf. Oh, I hope so. I will personally send her a PayPal check. Because that's the thing. Because mm. mm. that is the thing. She, she likes <laughs> getting money out of people. And she's not going to be able to resist getting money out of those soft-hearted Dr. Wolf fans. She ripped off Okizama, who used to be one of my former patrons. And she got him for $1,700. She got Ebeck, who's a, a Josh Scorcher fucking guy, for $1,600. At the same time, you know she got Ebeck? <laughs> By saying that goddamn uh, Oki, was Oki. With, Oki was withholding funds from her, which he wasn't doing. He was paying out. And she ripped them both off at the same time. You know what I told Ebeck? You're a sucker. They should wrap a fucking Mars wrapper around your head because you're a fucking sucker. You're a <gasps> fucking dope on a rope. And I don't feel bad for you one iota. I originally tried to send it to the secret chamber, but she was screen sharing and I didn't back down. I'm like, no, you're a chump. I'm glad you got ripped off. <laughs> that was after he found out. He went straight to Fallen to tell her about uh, Limbo stuff that we were talking about. When, uh, when uh, The latest drama that happened with Fallen was in regards to this uh, guy named Brayburn. Uh, she posted some art of her and director. And it was he, he oh, noticed oh, oh, it. Hold oh, 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 oh. That artwork was her and um, uh, the director. And it was a it was an anal picture. It was basically um, Brayburn is this artist who uh, Aeon of Dreams can explain to you. He's well beloved in the artist community. Well beloved. Rule thirty four. But he's 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 well cherished. He's well respected. Um, Aeon's like no no people will jump on her. She he she stole this and Vita explained. He flipped the asset. Right Pete. Right, right Vita. I, was, I went over through it. I, I couldn't. Pl I couldn't like um, prove anything. But then I looked at a cutie mark, and it was literally reversed. I was like, no, that has to be that she flipped <gasps> literally art when she was finished. There's no other explanation. Mm -hmm. <gasps> but yeah, it was. He went into the comments and put like a side by side <gasps> picture of her picture and his picture like kind of fading back and forth and it was the exact same pose and all he wanted was for her to credit him that's all he wanted and she vehemently refused we brought her into tune critics room to try and talk some sense into I her i refused and... <laughs> straight up refused to put her in limbo they're like put her in limbo and i turned to tune and said absolutely fucking not and, he, yeah. I was, and I think Pastel made the remark, well, why don't you put him in your room? And he's like, I'll do that. Yeah, that was and me. There, no, so, okay, fine. No. Yeah, go ahead. All in Wish really did that? Yes. Yes. Damn. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that she literally copied him, but the evidence is so 
it's convincing, then I would say it's hard not to believe that you found it. I'll put it this way. She most likely found a picture on Google and kind of drew what she saw. And in, in her mind, that's not tracing. That's most likely what she did. I'm not even upset with her because it was it was just for director. Like what the hell ever. Yeah, I'll, I'll, like even when we were arguing, I was just like, just even if you don't believe you trace, just say you did to make this all go away. That'd be so much easier. Yeah, and and she fucking ran out of the room and said that we were bullying her. Unfriended Pastel literally went back to her later, and Pastel got fed up with her. And Pastel had been arguing. She went to pass. She went back to Pastel later, drunk. Oh yeah, Pastel had. It fucking fought with us, tooth fucking claw and nail. You guys leave Fallen Wish alone, and after that one, she's like, "I'm done." No, fucker. <laughs> Speaking of which, I've I'm never trying not to hit help. Fallen for any of her financial fuck ups, <gasps> any of the tracing. I made fun of her for singing, which her singing sucks. I could defend that tooth and nail. I, I, I think again, that's a subjective choice, but I feel completely fine with that. I haven't delved into any of the Toon Critic bullshit. I haven't gotten involved in that crap. Oh, well done, Vita. <laughs> I, she, you said something about her. I'm trying not to hang up. Holy fuck, stop hiccuping. This she is might not really be awake. Yeah, she, she might, might not be up, up right now. Yeah, it's possible. Worth a try. Oh my god, stop hiccuping. Yeah, Out I, my I've, throat. I've, 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 I've surprisingly, for me, I have been <gasps> a saint for me. On a yeah. level that you can't even understand. Even with the initial fall of the Rift video, you, know you handled why? Fallen with click kid gloves. Do you understand why I refuse to goddamn admit Corpulent is at all? <gasps> even the least... Here, Leaky, you can hear this. I refuse to admit he was even the least bit right. And I never will. Fallen? Or, 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 or he, does, he, he's, he doesn't want to admit that Corpulent was right and he never plans to. Nope, Corpulent's a fact. <laughs> Corpulent's Absolutely. a fact. It's if you're all that matters. right now and that gets back, so be it. <laughs> corpulent, corpulent is a faggot, and he always will be. Vita, drink some water. Yeah, I've tried. I've already done that tonight. Did you drink water after you I started was hiccuping? Super, super yes. polite. Okay. Maybe, no, no. When that shit went down, I and, and basically before his podcast happened, I was supposed to tear the shit out of him. And I think he knew that too. He was dumbfounded when that podcast happened. He's like, I didn't expect this at all. And my whole thought was, I just remember I had a rough day, and I was like, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to be super cool. I'm going to be kosher. Corpulent is fucking goddamn mom. He's a reasonable guy. He's he's the reasonable guy from the PFC. If I'm super cool, everything will be all right. And he acted like it that day. It was all cool. Ooh. And then, like, two, three days later, it wasn't. <laughs> so then I came at him fucking harder than I ever did in my life. It's because I kept kicking it corporate out of the fucking root. That was, was all like, between this is funny. Ball. This is funny, right? <laughs> that was that was before that. Well, well, stupid. Now you're caught up on the on the saga of a fallen, and now we suspect that she's probably kind of sort of getting in with Doctor Wolf, considering that they were planning to do that moment with Doctor Wolf. That's not entirely far fetched. Yeah, no, no. She swears I up and down. Care. Oh, oh, FNG is out to get me. If I were out to get you, I'd have got you. End story. Uh, that's it. Fucking... Dude, that's all there would yeah. be to it. I was dumbfounded when he was like, oh, it serious looks that way. Is like, you know how it looks doesn't look that way? Look at my channel. Is there isn't a ch if there isn't a video literally called Fallen Wish for no good reason, there isn't a story. Cause she needs a fucking prime subject. I haven't done one of those on Fallen. The worst <laughs> I said about Nickers is Troublemaker. And, Can and we Nicker, have a you know what Nickers showed up and said? Ha, that's funny. <laughs> I would like to take another shot just to hope that the I stop <gasps> stop hiccuping. I would take a water. Do you have any water? Yeah, water have, would be good. Would you like to have another water shot? <clears throat> sure, I'll pour one. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me just a brief moment. I promise I'll be right back. Okay. Take a His liver I, will be I have pissed with him in the morning. I have been more nicer to Fallen than I thought possible as me as a human being could possibly do. And I think it's mostly because I've seen what Toon Critic has called for a head on a pike. Yeah. <laughs> like, he despises Fallen. 
That is a, that is a deep heat hate he has. Oh my god! And I'm like, uh, Fuck you know it. what? It's funnier because I can look at Fuck it. Fuck me sideways and call me Sally too. You ready oh for another water? Sh ready for another water shot? Is that water? Or, or water. Call. Water. Ready for a water shot? I got water. All right, you ready? <gasps> you ready for a water shot? Yeah, water. Go ahead. One, two, three, go. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god, that is refreshing. Uh. Oh my fuck. You know this is the first water shot we've ever taken. <laughs> <laughs> I just took a swig. I don't know if it was a full shot. I, didn't give a shot. I don't care, man. I'm just trying to fucking stop hiccuping. That's all I care about. Uh, I'll be honest. You know why Toon is thermally in, in my camp pasta? Why? Do you? Why? Why? Because, because he thinks Fallen. we're anti That's the Fallen. only fucking reason. You know what he heard, which made his head explode? After he left, I took Fallen back into fucking limbo. And he had a conniption. He fucking went <laughs> into a fucking migraine. He's like, oh my god, why? Because you left. That's it. I thought it was a political move. I thought that after I took Fallen back, she'd fuck up, I'd throw him out, and he'd come back. And you know what happened? Exactly that. Yep. <laughs> you could have scripted it. That's precisely what happened. I, when when he stormed out of the room, I turned to fucking Kichi and said, "So how long do you think it'll be before he comes back?" I don't know if she fucking thought that that would be a while, but I knew. I knew. I was like, you know, as long as she keeps fucking with him, he'll come back. Because I know Brawny isn't helping him. Goldie no. isn't gonna get that done. Key, keyframe, unfortunately. For all her skills and her talents and her popularity, can't make fucking Fallen Wish go away. <laughs> but you know who can? Well, I can kind of do it. <laughs> the big bag Aguilar. Oh, what, what, what the hell's going on? Why? What? We're, we're, we're recapping no, the saga of Fallen to catch up past analysis. Yes. Oh, okay. Don't, don't I? Because I got the best of her, whether she thinks it or not. I totally did. I don't fucking I? got the rift away from her. And it wasn't because she yeah, wanted it, to yes, give it to I, me. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely saw, not. Donut, did she give me the rift or did <gasps> I take it? She did. <laughs> I took it. I fucking Donut. took that son of a bitch. You gathered I, your I, troops. I, I, Donut. Yes. Help me, I can't stop hiccuping. Um oh, motherfucker. Boo. Boo indeed. Fuck. Well done, Donut. <laughs> yeah, Donut. Yeah. Okay, okay, so <gasps> okay, so hold your breath. For 20 seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, one thousand six, that, that makes it all the more important to make our rift the the new staple of the community, so that when was. we get no, Your I mean like rift. the new rift. It always Kichi, Kichi. As much as I'm on good terms with Tune Critic, critic right now, as much as that adds relevance mm -hmm. to me, that was always Plan One Day One. Is I have. Not? Since I tried making my own rift and it failed when I had Manga Common and British Ninja and I had a, a, like 20, 30 ass, 20 to 23 assholes and it failed miserably, I always wanted mine to be it. And I realized, okay, one, I can't rule it. And I was like, oh, look, Secret Jimmy can do it. And you know what? People listen to her and follow to her. That's fine with me. Guys, I have an idea. Let's go back to limbo because I feel fantastic. Well, hold, hold up, hold up. Before we get there, continue. Do you know the extent of the influence I want to invoke on the rift is like Bowie that I want gone, and that's not a big <laughs> deal. That's not. That's so negligible. That's so minuscule and unimportant. I don't give a shit. That's that's first world problems that I do not give a fuck about. <laughs> oh, we set to return to Limbo? Yeah, okay, we'll pull it over to Limbo. Yeah, Bye. sure, why not? Why not? I feel fantastic enough. Okay.
I feel fantastic. I never have a feeling as good right now. I feel fantastic. Ain't nobody the fantastic. So is everything uh, awesome? I'm, I'm gonna clock out, guys. No problem. That's completely right. fine. I don't blame you. Peace. This was breast cancer awareness or something, or, uh, but it was pink month or something. Or, I don't know. Yeah. So. I was gonna tell Puffs I'm right for once. Just barely. Mm -hmm. Just barely mm -hmm. by a fucking cunt hair. I'm just, just barely. barely right. I've had <laughs> to call off fights just because I know I don't have the room. These are kinds of things, but... hey, Anthony, you feel how I feel right now, right? Anthony? I feel I feel fuzzy, I feel fine. I feel like there's this it feel like my head is full of fucks. But I feel okay with that. Aren't you glad you waited? <laughs> I waited for what? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. What is this? What did I bring with me? I brought a chocolate and peanut butter tips to a You know what's bar. amazing, Leaky? We were drinking with fucking goddamn Vita one time. He just reached behind his back and said, What's this, cheese? No, I, I have this. I, will actually, I actually remember that. I was like, Where did this cheese come from? No, it was the most magical thing in the world. It's just like, imagine me reaching behind your ear and just pulling out a stick of cheese and being like, where did this cheese come from? Come the fuck back here. I'll be, I'll be completely honest. I'm Vita, gonna cop what are you to this. doing? You're not getting more cheese, are you? No, no. no Vita, Vita, I'm, Vita. I'm, I'm going to cop to this. I didn't entirely despise the time I had with fucking Knickers, but I couldn't, I couldn't continue to do that after I was done. I had to get the hell Nick out of there. Nicker is one of the people you have to be prepared to take with it, like the um, the drama it comes with, uh, the effort it comes with, or you're just not gonna be able to handle it. You know, it's one of those people you have to be like ready to deal with, and if you're not ready to you deal with what? it, you know what? The, 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 the first, per the last person I had before that was able to jettison me and be a stronger person than me, and I was able to deal with that eventually, after like two weeks. Nicker was like, I know you're not, you don't want to be in a relationship with me because I was not like, I felt very isolationist, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be by myself, like, all the time. It's just how it was at the time. It's just like, I know you don't want to be with me. And, like, I had to get with her. I did this, I did this, I, did, I bought presents for him, I bought presents for her. And I just, you know, I was a really nice person. And just like, you did a good job, you're being a good boyfriend. And that fixed the relationship. You got to be ready to deal with that kind of thing, or otherwise, it's just not going to work. No, I understand. You warned me a couple times, at least twice. It takes effort, and I fucking hate effort, man. I'm a lazy motherfucker. And have the wherewithal. I don't fucking blame you for bailing out on that, but I... She gave me an out! She basically said it's done, and I fucking ran for the door as fast as I could. Couldn't mm -hmm. get the fuck out of there fast enough. She did that for me. She said, it's done. And I'm like, okay, I'll fix this. I fixed that and that and that. And she's like, no, you did a good job. You're a good boyfriend and all that. So, yeah. I know you like, were angry with me when I drop kicked her as hard as I did. Oh, you were furious. I felt bad. Because I was like, oh, shit. I accidentally fucked up Anthony's relationship. How can I fix this? Put this here. Put this here. Put that. Put that. Put that there. You know, I was, because I fucked up. I put, made her too reliant on me. He's just sitting around just... No, no, I remember she was, she was fucking goddamn, I need, she's like, I want to get one last word, and I was like, the only way, the only way I could feel good about this is not give her that last fucking feeling. You said you want, she wanted closure, and, and you I give it to her. I refused, absolutely fucking refused, I was furious, I was like, no. I was trying to fix her, her relationship with you, and I accidentally fucked it up and made her dependent, dependent on me, I was like, oh, well, fuck. No, it's it's fine. I understand. I feel bad about that. Like, well, goddamn, I want to make her like fix her relationship with Anthony. I accidentally made her depend on me. How the fuck do you fix look, that? Look, 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 She was a deeply passionate individual. I understand. It's fine. I know, and I feel like Anthony. The reason this is my <laughs> speculation for why you wouldn't say that you were in a relationship with Kichi because you were expect my 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 head cannon was like. She's expecting, he's expecting me to try to steal Kichi, even though I know that wouldn't no, work. No, 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 I knew that wouldn't work. <laughs> no. That was Kichi my head cannon for why, like, you wouldn't say, yeah, I'm in a relationship with Kichi. I was expecting, like, oh, God, if I say if I say yes, then he's going to try to go after Kichi. No. You know, like, I know Kichi, you know, you know you're like, no, that wouldn't work. But no, for Anthony, you don't know who would work. <laughs> it's like in your imagination. That's a cute head cannon is what that is. 
You may think <laughs> it might work, but I was trying not. I've always wanted to not fuck up Anthony's relationship, but I just kind of accidentally do. It's fine. Can I just interrupt for a moment? I didn't think Vita would look like the living tombstone back in the 50s. Nigga, I... Look, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at, I, it connects. It connects. I'm that fucking skinny. Uh, I'd be no more skinnier than you are, honestly. Well, well my mom... Oh. Hey, I'm glad you remember this me. Guy. This guy right here. I don't remember you. I just yeah, hear him. Tony, he's some loser. We don't Sh know Shift and fucking defaulted from the fucking old rift, and we took him in. Anthony, who, who should I be worried about who he is? Shift and no. I don't think so. No, I don't, no, I don't think so. You are, if man. he is, it's a fucking high level game. I didn't think my enemies were capable of. How long do we have until oh, yeah, the next that's... shot? Let me set it, I guess. Well, you took a water shot, so you should be fine for... No, give me a second. Three, thirty, one. So, three, thirty, three, thirty-five. There you go, that'll be fucking ten minutes. I think that's good. Okay, right. yeah, that's fine. So that would be... Is that an hour away from me? What the fuck? That's like that's right now. That's ten minutes, motherfucker, you goddamn impatient asshole. Even that, like, that's, that's like right now. Right now it's 4.35. My time, 3.45. Ten minutes. Okay, so like 3.40... That'd be like 4.55, I guess. 3.45, okay, I see it now. Mm. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Stop trying to do math while you're drunk. Yeah. Fun fact, I'm actually going to do LSD with the fucking priest in his uniform at Bronicon. Oh, Another fun Father fact. Horse is going to be there. What did you Develop say? The theory Father of Horse is going to be a Bernie Con. Father Horse is going to be the person I'm doing LSD with. Is is Father Horse going to be holding mass? I think he, we should listen to him. We should only totally be like hi and have whole <laughs> fucking mass. I've never I've never sat down and listened to a fucking um an Anglican priest. We should totally do that. I'm up for that. Sure. I've never I'm taken trying... I've never taken church from a heretic. It sounds cool. You, you know I'm trying to get Anth or or what's his name Oki to give me more things to do for money, right? Nah. You hear you see I'm doing. I'm trying to make it. I'm you should be careful with that one. I'll find other things that'll fucking work. Unless you got money for me, I'm I still gonna have can't to keep get over the fact um, that Oki is Indian. No. Here I thought I was the only Indian brony in this fandom. Um, he is a Native American. I don't know if you're an Indian or a fucking Native American. Pure, he's pure Indian. He's Ohio actually. of the North, I'll have you know. Yeah, he's a fucking is an feather, Indian not a Indian dot. Is an Indian. <laughs> yeah, pure Indian, all the way from India. No, no, no. He's oh. he he no, doesn't he doesn't Native deal in American. he doesn't deal in gold and fine furs or whatever it is. Um, so, 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 he's an Indian so, as in, uh... Native as American. Uh, yeah, Oki is a Native John American. John Wayne would shoot fucking uh, goddamn Oki, do you understand He's one that? of the Native people who lived in the North American continent before the arrival of white He people. is a Seminole. Well, fucking Jerry Pete is a fucking Cherokee. And Fallen Wish is a Cherokee. <laughs> oh, is that what Jerry is? Fallen Wish is an ass face. I would like to make it known that I'm very upset that nobody else is on webcam because I feel very isolated here. But at the same time, I don't care because I'm drunk. Fallen is a shit a -wa. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, her shit's done. It's time we put it to rest. Uh, maybe. With me, with me, no. With me, no. You're, you're, well, miss, yeah. you're missing it, Shift, and that story oh, yeah. might not just be done just quite yet. She's fucking yeah. technically... She's gonna put herself back in fucking the good graces of Dr. Wolf and Joss Scorcher, which Whoa. in turn might take down some you of my enemies if she works. know these people. <laughs> well, what do you know? Dr. She, she's... Donut, Donut, let me explain this to you. It's a small, small world. Out there. Yes, sir. I guess. It's now you world. guess. You know now. You can't Re hear it now. Remember, um, Donut, she was already going to be doing that moment with Dr. Wolf. It's not like she 
uh, contacted him out of the blue, and he was just all buddy buddy. They already had a let me, connection. Let me explain this to you so you can understand this, Dot. Vita here is on friends with a male alicorn. A male alicorn is part of the premier Fallout Equestria animated series known as fucking um. I forgot what the goddamn name of it is. But technically, even Vita, whether he understands it or not, is connected enough to the Bernie community. Am not I you guess, look? you know. Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's a small, small community. That's why I'm so goddamn huge. It's why Silver, or not just Silver fucking, uh, Sheldon is so goddamn huge. It's a very small community. <laughs> yeah. Faggot. <sighs> You're faggot to you. Faggot. I feel fantastic as a faggot. Stop <laughs> your faggotry. It's enough. Well, yeah, everyone's a freak. Hey, somebody else is on webcam for fucking once, even though you feel you look like an Indian motherfucker. Exactly, I'm supposed to be one. Hmm? Are that or a fucking are that or a fucking a rap who's about to bomb the Seven Eleven? I don't know. <laughs> Cultural sensitivity, I everybody. I don't have. I mean, you don't look at me for suck fucking sensitivity. I'm not about that life. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Vita has survived three rifts without being part of fucking two of them. Just remember that. <laughs> Vita yeah. is the Vita is the forever man. Believe it or not. Yeah, you go. Uh, <laughs> Way to go, Vita. Uh, I feel fantastic. Well, you know. How about you, Anthony? Do you feel You know what, Vita? Would you like to see the animation I got done by Crown Prince? I'm gonna send sure, it. Sure, show that to me. I'll, I'll you know what? I'll just send it in call. I'll just fucking show it in call. PM it if also, you want to. Apparently, uh, Keyframe is moving with Golden Fox. I yeah, I heard about that. Keyframe yeah, is a faggot. I live together. A, a faggot I can relate to at some point. I forgot who I told about Donuts Meltdown. People were dumbfounded by that. <laughs> it, you melted down? The keyframe meltdown. Someone literally refused to believe that. I thought that was hysterical. <laughs> You're good, Donut. That'd be like some it. kind of a molten glazed donut? Yes, it was a molten glazed donut. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a sexual innuendo? Possibly. Possibly. Start. Possibly or possibly? <laughs> Possibly. Of course. Sand. <laughs> Show me this, like, you know, fucking animation. I'm looking at it. It's beautiful. Oh, it really sands is. Sand with that joke. Oh, God. Like, what you, what you, the area of folders you have that's for anime is the area of folders I have for porn. I'm trying to think if I could find it. Fuck, my brain is so shot. I know. I'm the same, Anthony. You don't have to feel too bad about that. God damn, you have so few folders. This is just my just download folders. I know, my download folder is fucked too, but... Um... Uh, fuck my download folder is, like, packed. Mine is, dude, point where I don't feel, like, comfortable showing people my download folder. Ransom Gate it's can blow my point. ass, that's probably it. You have a fucking folder in your, in your what, desktop called Meme? Okay, it's literally called Ransom Gate Can Blow My Ass because some asshole tried to ransom me my folder, so I just really... I think it's called Meme. Well, okay. First one's called Ransom Gate Can Blow My Ass. There's one called Brook for Empty Brook. There's Grey Cat, there's Kichi, there's Manga Common, Meme, Poses, and Trixie. Meme. Meme. Great and powerful Trixie. It was. Eat some firecrackers. Uh -huh. I have a folder for memes. <laughs> Memes. Memes are there with Toon Critic's face. Memes are too strong. Mm. Hold on, hold on, I'll go back. I saw a fucking Raven. I want to see that. That's yeah, Sabrina, just right there. Oh, those oh, are the Jerry I, Pete poses, by I the way. I no longer want to see that. I don't want to see that. Just kidding to you. Where's that? 
You need new poses. Probably. I swear, like Kichi made me one because she's amazing. No, you need like a set of poses. Wait, wait, wait. response pastel. What do you have a response pastel? I downloaded with? yours because I was gonna kick the shit out of you. By the way, here it is. You are gonna download the shit out of me. This is my That's animation great. I got from Crown Prince. Uh, that, that okay, falling like you crash it, you crush it, and you throw it. But at that point, like it's like, what else is there to it? That's it. That's it. Looking good, man. Yep. It's not worth so. it. No, Isn't probably. it adorable? Yeah, it is. Hey, that that's pretty cool. good. Well, why do you? Who are you gonna respond to Pastel? Yeah. Who said that was for Pastel? I was gonna smack the shit out of you, fucking. Okay, you. okay, okay. Smack the shit out of me. I want to see it. I'm tired. I can't think of anything. Not not right now. I mean, like, when you wake up and you're, like, you know, coherent. Oh, he told me it was a bad Vita, idea. Vita, the reason he didn't do anything is because the rage had subsided by the time he was caught up with his other stuff. You did it on a Friday night, which means I'm goddamn furious. And I, I was like, I wanted to smack you, then I was going to bitch slap the god ever loving piss out of Oki. Smack the shit out of me if you can, but you can't faggot. So wait, what did Oki do? He fucking employed a faggot, uh, a low-rent hitman. Who mm. smelled of Cheeto dust. Are you talking about me? <laughs> yes, sir, he bought fear, shame, and Cheeto dust. Hit me, nigga. Hit me if you can. But I'd have smacked the dog shit out of you. You can't smack the shit out of me, because you know you can't. There's another reason, is because Oki would turn to all his bot people, and I would fuck a goddamn 20... F 40 faggots on me immediately. <laughs> You don't understand, fucking Oki goddamn bailed out Hobbs, who's I'm cool with, bailed out fucking Caden, who I'm cool with, bailed out Ryan, who I'm cool with, for a collective of fucking, let's see, 800, 600, probably over $2,000. No, no, fucking, <laughs> it's not worth it to prove you're right. You can't do shit. I'm untouchable. Touch me, nigga. You can't. Boom. So, your theme song is written by Megan Trainer. Good job. Oh, oh, that's upside down. Oh my god, that's just alcohol everywhere. I need to fucking clean it up. My name is No. Oh, god. <laughs> there was an immediate line where I was gonna sit there. The whole video was gonna, instead of tearing the shit out of you, was gonna be tearing the shit out of fucking Oki. Which was gonna get me in a lot of trouble. That's an iffy thing. I don't know. It depends on what you said. I don't know if I can defend OP. You're like, fucking it's... hired a low rent faggot to goddamn do your dirty work, you dirty ass fucking engine. It's a okay, wonder that, that fucking is... Custer didn't get off his ass and finish off, you fucking low rent considerate oh, fucking yeah. condescending. I was gonna yeah, tear I the think, dog think, shit up, you red nigger. I think I can destroy you. Hit me, nigga. Hit me, nigga. Hit me, nigga. <laughs> oh, God. When the shirt comes off, we know it's serious. I can't. I I don't want to say it unless I know he can hear me. Put my shirt back on. No, he yes. can't hear. Me. I did want to smack Ogie because I owe him for fucking going to run off to eight chan, which hey. means eventually, Licky, I'm gonna catch you at the weakest moment of your fucking life, and then I'm gonna stop the dog shit out of you for going over there. This you know. What? Uh, no, no, I didn't stutter at all, bitch. One day, when you are at your weakest moment of your fucking life, and I know you're looking for support, I am gonna stomp the dog fuck out of you. Ugh! What the fuck did I do? You ran over to a fucking 8chan, nigger, and I'm gonna fucking uh, delight in it. Ooh, I'm gonna have a rock-hard dick that can cut fucking steel. Ooh! Leaky. Leaky. Anthony wants you, you nigger fuck motherfucker. I am gonna fucking goddamn eviscerate you. I want it to be the weakest moment of your life when you're looking for support. And I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna pretend to be your friend. Ooh! And I'm gonna I goddamn Anthony, stop the Anthony, fucking Anthony, shit Anthony, out of you. Anthony, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> you need to shut the fuck up now. <laughs> you, you've talked too long. <laughs> and it pisses even more Oki did that shit. <laughs> Oki's just a pony fuck cast member. Yeah, oh yeah, I said that backhanded as fuck, motherfucker, and I meant it. Ooh! <laughs> Damn. What the fuck oh. is Anthony talking about? Anthony's you ran okay. over to 8chan, I nigger. Think I, you think I, I think forgot about that shit? That's gonna be on your fucking head till the day you die, nigger, till the day I get Anthony, even with you. We've been over I don't this. give anybody don't a fucking walk. 
You fucking Lickie, posted Lickie. there, nigger. I know you did. I had Lickie. people tell me. Rockamu told me you did. Leaky, you know how drunk I get. Anthony's much drunker right now. Oh, probably. Please excuse him. Yeah. <laughs> I know Ryan was telling me, he's like, oh, Oki's scared that you're going to hit him. And I was like, I wouldn't fucking goddamn, I'm going to let you in a little secret there. He should oh, be. Oh, shit, we're late. We're late on the fucking shot, Anthony. Okay, I'll pour it. Where's, where the fuck did my shot glass go? Mm. <laughs> Is it next to the cheese stick? <clears throat> Is it down here? No, it's not down here. Where the fuck did my shot glass? Give me a moment, I'm going to go grab a shot glass. Okay. I'm going to do a shot glass. See how long? <laughs> They're going with actual alcohol. I'd probably just stick with juice. Rolling rock. <laughs> Good plan. Uh, do they still sell Rolling Rock anymore? Yes. Isn't Rolling Rock beer? Yes, yes, it is beer. Yes, they do still isn't sell that, it. Yes, isn't that weird? Still good. I love I'm Rolling Rock. I'm thinking of a, I'm thinking of Blue Moon. Like I'm getting a hand that, sorry. Hand I'm back, Neil. <laughs> You know, it's a weird connection. As much as I might, like, sit there and say that shit to Oki, I still wish he'd fucking go after his shit with fucking a podcast for fucking vehicles and shit because he knows what he's talking about. (laughs) It sounded like a stink meter just now when Vita came in. Mm. Like, what's good, nigga? Oh, let me get get that. Let me get that. Let me me shut my uh, bottle of alcohol and then I'll do it. Mm -mm. What's good, nigga? Yep, you had to say it. You, you have, you have, you have to put the nia at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's good, it's been forever nigga? Since I've seen that show. I remember. You know, was you know, I, I want to put this into perspective, Vita. When you were like, "Oh, you could take the rift," I'm like, "Of course I could, Vita. I just couldn't keep it." <laughs> people, people would fucking filter out of there slowly but surely. <laughs> if I took Anthony, it, some in droves. Yeah, Anthony. At this point, the rift, it, your new rift, quote unquote new rift, at this point is like a shadow room where you control it shadowly. Where like there's a figurehead, but you can still control it. I told I told Sheldon this. I was like, what do you, what do you, what do you? The limbo is the real rift. It really oh. fucking is. This is the better fucking room. I look rift, at the rift. I rift. look at the limbo. Limbo is far more fucking active. Rift is comes along with it a certain um, kind of uh, thing. I don't know what's called. There's um, stigma not 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 it. stigma. There's a certain level of politeness. There's not that in limbo. That's not the rift. Your rift, your new rift. You're a shadow leader. You're the shadow leader. You control it, but you're only a shadow leader. I'll take that. You take it from like the background. Like some sort of like fucking you know uh, XCOM thing where like the oh I'll, I'll put it to control, this. but they're not actually like the figurehead. Let, let look at this way, Vita. I could stop anytime I want to. You could, but you don't want to. No, I don't. <laughs> All right, Anthony, All right, Anthony. Anthony. I had to tell you like earlier, uh, Secret and Rainbow pulled me in into a call to like interview some some dude. And I was just like, I don't feel like talking to anyone today. I, uh, you know, I was like, I'm always the one who does the talking when they're doing interviews because I don't know. Dude man, like, you know no, what? no, I know who Dude Man is. You know how I know Dude Man is because fucking Zachary Taylor pimps him. I've seen him, and the only time I've ever argued with him is he fucking goddamn is like, you're one of Biter's friends, and I was like, oh, no, 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 let me, let me finish. Um, pretty much, I was just like, I don't feel like interviewing. I don't. I'm just gonna sit and call. And I just kind of let Spirited and, and Secret do it. And it was just like silence followed by ums. And I'm just like, you should tell them tell them the rules. And she's like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just like, I have to hold your hand through this interview. Have you not been paying attention to when we do this? Can I take a shot or can I take a shot? Yeah, I got this shot. You ready? You ready? Three, ah, two, two, one. one. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to start letting her talk more during the interviews because she needs to learn how to do that. Yeah, no. Yeah. It sort of worked in a weird way. It, in a weird way that it shouldn't work, but it does. And, what do you and, mean? And, and, like, for example, Vita, me and Kichi understand how it's supposed to work. We don't want to run it. That means mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
That's yeah. why for the uh, the project, I specifically said we're going to need writers. And in my mind, I'm thinking that means directors for this project. Yeah, no, no. We Vito, will, Vito, the mods Vito. will oversee it. But yeah. Me and Kichi are Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> Secret Dreamer is George W. Bush. <laughs> well, congratulations. You can shoot that someone in the face and get away with it. Yes, you understand. Hmm? Guys, I feel fucking fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony, you know I, what I mean when I feel I feel fantastic. I know. I wrote yeah. I got a piece. Yeah, Anthony, we we know what needs to be done. We just need someone who we can tell to do it. Nigga. Honestly, I thought. Of course, uh, you know, Tin was one of the. I thought I could fix it. But then I found that it was unfixable. You know. Uh, it, Anthony Toon was like one of the first people to be like, oh, I want to write. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I know how you write. That's not going to happen. Anthony. Anthony? I guess he walked away to get something. Oh, let's see how he's doing with those know. shots. Oh, he's dead. I don't Donut, think he... what about you, Donut? He did. I'm cool. Have we're you had shots? No, I haven't. But I mean, we do actually have alcohol here, but I don't. Is it beer? It's. it's well, no, no, no. There, there is actually like hard liquor here. Well, one of my roommates before he moved out was asking to be a bartender. So. I want to be a bartender. I want to be drunk. I want to deal with hard liquor. You cannot. You drink can't one be drunk while you're a bartender. <laughs> I'm yeah, drunk. Give me a break. I know what I can and can't do while being a bartender. Uh, Anthony, what? how is that liquor treating you? That hard liquor. I'm gone. I'm completely you're, gone. You're feeling that fantastic feeling, right? I'm. I'm not in pain, but my brain has turned off. You're like just like. I don't think I can get Kichi this level because I think she'll shoot past it. Unfortunately. Yeah, she will. No, that that the level you're at right now, after all you've drank, that's like that's probably like beyond passed out level for me. No, <laughs> no, it's not there's a way to get you there. I think that's more of like fucking five and a fourth, but not in such a short time. No. Yeah, but do you actually want to kill your girlfriend? Um, the way I would do it is it I would I would hire I, I would I would I would fucking get her um whiskey sours because those are weak those are orange juice and amaretto shots. Those no, are... I don't want anything with amaretto. That stuff is gross. You couldn't taste it in the orange juice. You'd be like, "Huh? Am I getting?" No, alcohol? I tried mixing it with orange juice. It was. Uh, it's. I still tasted it. I. It's too sweet. I don't like it. Hmm. Let me think. I'll find something else for you. Yeah. Don't give me amaretto. What? What? Anthony. This roommate was. Well, we'll try out with it. You know what? If I buy you a drink and you don't like it, I'll just pass it to Vita. Okay, what that Anthony, works. What yeah. Anthony's saying <laughs> is, you know, drink it. What Anthony's saying is, I can show you the world. I can. <laughs> I have the air up, can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. You know, the funny thing Telling is... Kichi. No, the funny thing is, when, when we're at BronyCon and I've had a few drinks, he's going to break out Ahab the Arab and it's going to tickle me to death. I know. I know <laughs> that, Kichi, to be honest There's with you... good regarding Minty, which happened there. Kichi... To be mm-hmm. honest with you, when we're drinking, I'm probably going to hug you, but not in a gay way. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute, you're a female. That wouldn't be a gay way to begin with. I'm gonna. I'm not going to lie, Kichi. If, if it's you or me getting hugged by Vita, I'm going to leave you to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fucking hug. Like, you know, no, you, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to like walk Vita over to Anthony and just kind of take his arms off me and put them onto Anthony. I will. I will be so nettled. I'm not the. I'm not the fucking hang on to that. No, 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 Vita. I, if if that happens, I want you to roll with it because it's gonna piss off Anthony. It so will. Much. Okay. It totally I'll fucking will. I'll take a like, picture of it. There'll be a tiny voice in the back of my head saying, "Roll with it." I'll just be like, even though I would have already taken my arms off of Kichi, I'll be like, "Go on, keep going." Then bring me over to Anthony. I'll just be like, "Ah." Yeah, it'll be like a back hug. <laughs> In the next moment, I know. Smile for the birdie. <laughs> oh my fucking head! God damn it! I shouldn't have drunk too fast. Yeah. No, I've accidentally fucking like 
Oh, 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 my fucking fingernail broke because I stabbed myself with it. Ow, damn it. That's the worst situation to be. Anthony, you know your screen share is still up, right? Oh, I was just looking at my shit, so I should be fine. Anthony, put up your fucking webcam, shit. I'm on my laptop, so or desktop, so that's not possible. Damn it. Yeah. Fix that. Yeah. Wait, are you saying laptop quality, my webcams are horrible? I'm on, yeah. I'm on a Yeti, by the way, Betty Boo. Oh, that is he a ha- he has to s- he has to set up a completely separate a Yeti thing for to me, sir. Hold it for a uh, Yeti for me is a peasant mic, just like it's a fucking peasant mic for fucking Sheldon. I use an XLR mic when I record generally when I'm getting a good fucking video. I have a Blue Yeti. I could go for something more expensive. I just don't want Truth to. Truth be told, I think XLR... I'm uh, using a SingStar mic. Leaky, Leaky has a fucking Pretty goddamn stupid. stage mic, I believe, don't you? Leaky? Leaky. Leaky Lou. Leaky. Oh, I guess okay. he walked away. Yeah, Leaky, Leaky, Leaky has an SM58, I think, which is the same kind of mic a fucking Dr. Wolf has. Fun fact, this is hysterical. Sheldon fucking pointed this out. He's like, you know what's funny about fucking goddamn Dr. Wolf? He has a pop filter. His fucking microphone has a pop filter built into the fucking thing, and he's a fucking moron! <laughs> you guys, uh, who's the host of this call? I am. I'll be back in a bit, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, gotta deal with fiance shit, okay? Okay. Okay. I don't know how long well, drunk you should. That's a good idea. I'm sure that's a normal occurrence for Vita. Goodness. Jesus. Well, by the way, Bronycon's gonna be fun. It is. Alright guys, well, I have had just about enough fun for tonight. I will speak to you all later. Thank you, stupid. Okie dokie. See ya, stupid. He's good people. No offense. No, no, we do that all the time. He's fine. Asshole. It's, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, asshole. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think that was a, a, what was a John good break. Does. Huh? I think, I think you what overused. John Cena does. I, I, think asking, I, I think Kitsy started overusing the asshole thing a little bit. I know. I, 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 was just, I, I forget, and then I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that, whatever. <laughs> it, it's lost its charm, because everyone started doing it. Oh, wait, I don't have John Scott and shit. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Kitsy, I'm part of the jerk, too. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I was like, uh, oh. now that everyone's doing it, it's not so fun. <laughs> I didn't have Irish John's contact. Shit. I would have renamed him Irish John Cena. Uh, oh, that's nice. Dot, dot, dot is his real that's name. That's nice, sweetie. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Dots. Dots. Connect the dot. <laughs> God, I love our room. <laughs> I can't believe we got John over. <laughs> we got a guy over who's famous for giving Brawny Buck money. <laughs> Wait, who? Irish John. He's famous for being Brawny Buck's patron. He's that oh. guy at the beginning of the Brawny videos. No, his... I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that's what he was famous for. Oh yeah, that's what he's famous for. He got three thousand subs off of that. Oh. Yeah. Which is funny. Yeah. He's only a thousand subs difference. You did not know that. I did. Metro Valiant needs to die. I don't know what you're on about, did you? <laughs> God damn it, you hurt my brain. Well, you're think every- right now. Think, think everything hurts your brain right now. No. 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 I, did you <laughs> see Kitty saying anthropology and she didn't tell me? I was like, oh, that was pretty good. No, I didn't see. I, I mean, I saw the video, but I didn't hadn't listened to it yet. You're all clicking. It was good. Everyone, leave this up for at least retention if you hate it. I mean, I'm gonna listen to it. I just haven't. I have upvoted the shit out of this with all my bullshit accounts because it was funny. Personality. <laughs> Licky is a pimp. A fucking pimp. 
Next to Rustic Shine, a goddamn <laughs> certifiable Mac 10 Big Daddy Pimp. Next to Rustic Goddamn Shine. Goddamn. Ugh. I think Maury J, the counterfeit gay, is a goddamn counter is a fucking pimp next to goddamn Rustic Shine. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I could sing like Kitty. I tried singing. It just, I took lessons. It just, I just do not have a singing voice. You're good. Don't worry about Practice it. Practice enough, you could probably become a singer. Stay with no, me. No, I don't. No, no, no. Stick with me, kid. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I, I've heard myself sing, and I was like, oh, God, no. Because, you know, singing takes time. I could, to I could keep stroking your ego, and you could sing it no, anyways, no, no, and we'll no, kind of no, like no. laugh don't, at don't it. Don't do that. Don't yeah, do that. No. I, <laughs> That's I a bad idea, to be, too. I refuse to become you know, artistic, I passion, or fallen wish. I was I thinking fall. yeah, I was thinking fallen more than autistic. And and yet no, even when I took, like, a semester of singing classes, it, it just, it became serviceable. And that was after a semester of singing. Yeah. Some people just can't sing. Yeah. No, your voice and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I can hold a tune when I'm drunk and not singing loudly. Hi, Vita. Welcome back. Maybe. Oh, you know back. I think he's on with the call with his fiance. So yeah. well, he he just came in here. I just assumed he was in here, but yeah. He's. Well, I hope he doesn't come in here. That would be so messy. Hey. What's up, John? Hey. Hi, Irish. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stop recording right now. Hey.